Zooey episode 7. We are back in Gobi's Valley to finish it right up. And for starters, we're going to kick it off with a nice little jiggy there from the last Jinjo. Not bad. I I feel like we might have been able to get that without having to go to a different world. Because I don't remember doing anything special to get that Jinjo. Other than just doing it. Because when I was like, man, where's that last Jinjo? It was that one. And I'm like, really? So, I don't know about all that. But, either way, I want to kick off the episode really quickly, episode 7, with saying I goofed and posted Gobi's Valley twice, and I captioned it my favorite level. Well, I want to make it abundantly clear that that was an accident. And if you had watched what you thought was episode 6, and it just happened to be Gobi's Valley, well, go back and watch episode 6 again, because I did some tweaking or whatever, and either way, I posted Freeze Easy Peak. And I think it's very important that everyone gets to see that level. So, if you haven't, or if you missed Freeze Easy Peak, it is up, and I did goof, I apologize. That's quite the time limit, just to get down to that pyramid. I'll take it. We're going to hit that there, slide on down. See how perfect that was? Quite. Alright, let's see uh, Let's see what this has got for us. Oh, hey! You just passed your best note score for this world. Yeah. It's kind of a shame that we had to... Hello, my friend. I am Ruby. Can I be of some help, no? They're looking for treasure, pipe boy. Very good. I see some up there. It's yours if you can get it, yes? Very nice. 98. Ooh. And that's that sick hundy. You found all 100 notes on this world. Well done. Sweet. So, the last thing we have to do is poop some, uh, poop some eggs in this basket. And then we will be done with Gobi's Valley. That was actually a double, did you hear that? Oh, come on. Oh, yeah, you can pick the eggs back up. I don't know if I ever showed that. There we go. Yeah, if you poop them, you can just... Thanks a thousand, my friend. Thanks. My friend will help you now with your quest. You're supposed to climb him. But I figured we'd stand right up on top of him. And that would be... Gobi's Valley. 100% completed. Alright, now let's get on with the uh, meat and actual potato of this episode. Yes, yes. Gobi's Valley was not a potato. It was but a means to an end. So let's get the heck out of here. So today, as you remember from the end of last episode, and like I said... It will... I'll put it in the link in the description below. Episode 6 is Freeze Easy Peak, my favorite level. I accidentally uploaded Gobi's Valley again. I know I said it, I just want to make sure that everyone gets to see... Oh, your best known score for this world is now 100. Shut up, Bottles. We know. I'm a beast. Um, but, yes. Just want to make sure everyone gets to check out Freeze Easy Peak. Because it is my favorite level for a reason. Now, we're going into what I would only say is probably a top three level, in my opinion. Yep, um, let's head this way, and we'll see what we got going on here. So that's that boy. I figured we would take him next episode, but, like, I mean, you saw, we couldn't, because we started in Gobi's Valley. Okay, let me see if I can remember how to get back to uh, Mad Monster Mansion. That's what it's called, if you don't remember. Oh, that's Gobi's Valley. Let's go this way. Yes, we'll be going to Mad Monster Mansion. That's where we're going. I think... Oh, okay, okay, I'm not going to go this way. You need to uh, You need to have Mumbo's Transformation from uh, Mad Monster Mansion uh, for to get through there. It's kind of like... Uh, Ooh, listen to music. Your feathered buddy that you've brung, useless like a pile of dung. 
Yeah, listen to that music, dude. I'll get off Kazooie. Let's go check out over here real quick. See what's going on. Oh, shoot. There's another area that we can only get through with the Mumbo transformation. So we'll come back out here in a little while. That's right. One up. Sweet. We don't really need any feathers. Cool to see them, though. Right, let's get that out of here. Yeah. Oh, man. Just appreciate the music. Good God. It's got that creepy tone to it. I know what you're thinking. Why are you going this way? Well... Well, really? For some reason... I thought some enemies were gonna pop up? I mean, I know in Conquer's Bad Fur Day the tombstones come to life. I thought these were going to as well. Let's get some full health. This level is... lethal. This is... the second hardest level in the game. Well... The one I keep forgetting kinda sucks as well. It doesn't suck, but a little tough. The last three levels are hard, and that's just how it be. This one, I mean, had me stumped for a hot minute when I was playing this the most recent time I was playing. But we're going in blind because I feel like it. Um, I don't know if we'll keep the recording. I don't know if we'll wander around aimlessly for a super long time. Either way, here we are, Mad Monster Mansion. So, you've got this, uh, mansion boy right here. You've got the shed over there. Uh, Maddie was actually asking me if, uh, or was saying, like, is it, you know, like a haunted mansion type deal? And I was like, well, there's a cathedral, there's a haunted maze, there's a mansion, there's a shed, there's a fountain. You know, it's haunted, but there's a lot more than just a mansion, which is pretty sick. Also, if you're playing along, Go in these windows. This is what had me stuck. I didn't realize that you could go in the windows. These two guests are rather dumb. Let's make sure they're unwelcome. Mm, I don't want to say that was a, a bit of a stretch, but... You know. Yep, see that boy? Made a bone this time around. Let's see what we got under here. Okay. We gotta come, like, like I keep on saying, we're gonna have to come back with Mumbo's transformation. Don't forget that's there. Don't let me forget that's there. Alright, we'll go back into that one later. I wanna make sure to bust out these windows. Ha! Uh, literally. Uh, as the first, oh, shoot. As the first thing I do, because... Um, I just wanna get it out of the way. I don't wanna be like, where, where are we going again? Now, I just want to make sure the windows are the first thing we do. We'll bust out around the mansion, then we'll spread out to the outside realm. That's a turtle. Do you know what I'm going to say? Yes, we're going to have to come back with Mumbo's transformation. Which, I'm going to go ahead and do the Mumbo transformation at probably the very end. Just because... Actually, I think there was some sweet text if we try to... Yeah, there we go. Much too flat to fit in Lago's mouth. Yeah, so that was a little hint that we have to get small. Cause you know, that's that's how it was when he transformed into the into the crocodile as well. We just got smaller. Jump on up here. There we go. Head on in this window. Hopefully it won't be a mumbo transformation room. Got him! Got him again. Pretty sweet. Oh my god. Ghosts. Yeah, these guys, these guys are brutal. You can't attack them, you can't hurt them. They're ghosts. You know, it's like... Don't be silly. Um, yeah, those last four notes are the ones that got me last time I played. And of course this Jinjo. So it was those two things and then I was like, oh of course. Okay, so we can't get anything. I gotta get out of here then. This guy is brutal. You can see him on the wall uh, in that picture frame. Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. 
All right, let's jump on over here. Oh, don't think I'm going to forget about these four notes. Oh, come on. There we go. Hey, Jinjo. Sweet. I wonder if we could go down that one. That little hole right there is uh, Mumbo's Transformation. I don't think you can get up this high as Mumbo's Transformation. You can jump, but that's it. And of course we can go in there, but I'm not going to do that just yet. we got to crack this window open. Did you see that? That was, I mean, that was called uh, Sick. I'll kill you! Yeah, I didn't have these notes either. If it involved breaking the picture frames, I didn't have it. Or not the picture frames, the uh, windows. Um, I'm just, and if, if I didn't give enough context, that's when I was playing on the Xbox version trying to 100%. I want to say like two years ago, maybe. Uh, something like that. And I was like, dude, <laughs> I can't do this. Where is it at? Also, you're supposed to uh, do the legs jump right there. I'm not going to do that. So the idea of this room, and I didn't show it off because I just immediately got in here, is this guy is asleep and the wood floors are very creaky. So you have to find a way in here without hitting the wood floor. Or he'll wake up and be like, what the heck is wrong with you, you're stupid. I, I'll show that off if we fall right here. I don't know if you can step on the table or if you have to tiptoe when you do. Actually, let's just check. Got him! World is gold, how it showed, she'll be mad, now it's gold. Yes, I'm mad, my boot, I'll put up your useless spooky butt. Sweet! Gold, that's our first, our first G. So we got, uh, her sister, the little pot, Gruntilda, Klungo. Mumbo in that thing. It'd be called a broom. Kinda weird that she has Mumbo on her walls. He's best shaman in game. Nolan enjoyed when he said that. But as you can see that like there's like purple carpet right there, and you would step off that and immediately it would creak and he'd be like, What the heck, dude? I was freaking sleeping, bro. And I'm like, you know, you can't actually have more than nine lives. I was actually, uh, curious about that. Hmm. Why is there a flying thing here, we wonder? Ouch. That's not why. <laughs> Alright, if we're missing anything, we'll come back in. We'll hit that fly. We'll see what's going on there. Regardless, let's get the heck out of here. I like that we can just smash doors open. That's pretty fun. I'm gonna try to save, like, my favorite part of the level, aesthetically, and that's pretty cool. For last, yeah, that's right, smash the window. You smash all the windows you can find. Oh, I thought I, I mean, I knew I was a little late, but I figured I still had him. Whoa! A skeleton. What about that, then? It's looking awful sus, don't you think? They gave us the camera angle for no particular reason. I remember when Amogus became a meme, I, I still never saw anything about it. I remember people just saying it, they were like, Oh, it's a little sus, and I was like, what? Among Us is old now, why were you, what? Why are people talking about it? And I think the city hall is like, oh, it's the meme, I'm like, what? I don't know. I try not to miss too many meme trends, but I miss that one a hundred percent. Still a little fun sometimes, you know. I'm not really an Among Us fan. I never have been. I, th I think I think I played probably ten games total, if that. I don't even know if I'd give myself that. I didn't feel fair. Huh. Nothing in here, huh? Get to look around. Yeah, I think this is just a. Uh, just some bonus rooms, so if you are uh, playing the game, don't go in here. Uh, don't ever do it. Please. Please do not. There's nothing there for you! Just leave! 
So Invincible is pretty good. I don't want to be the guy that talks about it, because I know everyone else is talking about it, but... I don't watch TV shows. I, I might have talked about it recently. I might have talked about it. Um, well, no, because I haven't recorded in a little while, so... Mm, probably not. Um, oh, hey there. So, there's going to be a bunch of little barrels are going to bust open from 1881. We've got our third ginger. That's pretty good. Oh, there's nothing here. Okay. See, I'm trying to be careful in one of these, because there's... Oh, jiggy! Gulp. That's right. There's Mumbo Token. Peek and poke him, if you do say so myself. There's a wall there. Well, what in the heck? Hmm. Well, I mean, I'm happy with what just happened there. Because I didn't find the thing that I was thinking was here. But... I'm a little weirded out. I mean, we'll come back. It has something to do with the bonus episode, so I didn't want to get it. I'm just curious as to why I cannot get it. Oh. You come out of that later. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Gotta be careful. See, I'm trying to... I know what's going on in this game. So I'm trying to make sure not to, like spoil it or say anything about it or anything of the sort just or even grab it you know because i'm like i want to make sure we have a good clean bonus episode we'll get everything it'll be great this is a pretty neat one right here let's go ahead and grab these notes this one uh, this one can uh, throw you for a loop if you're not careful it's another uh Greetings, O oh Solid One. I'm Tumblr, the mighty solved puzzle, and you can take this infernal thing that's stuck under me. Cool. Uh oh. So we hit him with that hashtag B A. Ouch. Come on. Oh, that's technically a Z. Dude, come on. So for the end. M. J's right down here. J. Let's get out of that guy's way. Hit that O. K. I don't know where the A is. That's why I didn't know where the A was. I think we'll be okay. Because the other O is across the other side of the map. You know what? Let's just do that one now. That way when we get over to this one, we can do the OIE. If you guys don't understand what's going on here, we're spelling out Banjo-Kazooie with this cup. And if we touch the Gruntilda ones, I'm pretty sure it resets us. Alas, the puzzle is solved. Take this thing. I'm leaving this gloomy shed. Wow, I'm happy for him. Boom, that's three. That is three. We're just getting started. Boom. So we still have six unique jiggies to get, and then we will find the Jinjos elsewhere. Go ahead and get up here, get back on Talon Trot. That's what it's called, by the way, and I call it whatever I call it, but it is called Talon Trot. Let's go this way. You need to, uh, you could get here a little earlier as well, and you could do this probably before Gobi's Valley, um, or Freeze Easy Peak for that matter, but you really should go to those places first. That way you can unlock the Beak Bomb and the, um, the running shoes especially, because you need to use the running shoe in part of this. And that's important to uh, have unlocked. Such good music, man. I can't get over it. I can't get over it at all. Here we go. There we are. And that's going to hurt us. 
I was wondering if it would give us any, like, dialogue of, like, whatever is in there that's hurting us is like, Oh, you can't survive the death juice. And I'd be like, oh, it's true. He's got a point. Oh, okay. Hmm. Okay, so that's clearly... We gotta figure something out to do. I also clearly want to make sure that that guy dies. Oh, that actually hurt us. Hmm. I didn't... I didn't know, uh... That could hurt us. Oh. Well, there must be some way to do this. The game cannot be smarter than us. We have to figure it out with our big brain and intellect. Oh, we can just take this jump pad. Okay. Big brain achieved. This is quite well, actually. We're halfway on, we're halfway on the notes. Kaboom. So, the well just got huge. Basically. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Another place we have to come is Mobile Transformation. Right there. And the good thing about the swimming in this is you can get, like, a big kazooie. Whoop! And you can stop yourself by swimming with Banjo. So that would be B and A. Yeah, we'll come back here as Mumbo's transformation, I promise. Uh, peek him and poke him. That's not good. That is not good. I'm telling you, there's lots of damage to be had in this level. Especially when being careless. Very careless. Come on. I had to put the kibosh on there real quick. 63 just feels wrong to have. I'm wondering if we missed anything. Um, no, we're good. We are good! Let me go ahead and grab this dental j j j jiggy And like I said, we can come back in here as the pumpkin, and that's... Probably a really reliable way to get all that stuff without getting damaged or anything. So, let's go ahead and come back this away. Pull it out. That was pretty, uh, pretty successful. Let's go this way. Grab some eggs. Attack this gentleman! Now, we are low on health. I'm realizing this. I've already realized it. I'm talking about it. Let's, uh, shwack that, shall we? Um, I would love to go in there, but I'm not going to. I believe that's the final place I want to go. That that area, however, we'll go ahead and go to that area. Let's see if we can get some of these bats to come down here real fast. Sauce! Sauce! Big old door is very tough. Stupid bear is not fast enough. Okay, so we basically just took a damage to, to heal. Lame. That was absolutely garbage. Either way, I don't want to go through here. It's deadly. Very. Alright, let's hustle. We'll, we'll come back with the notes when I have more health. No. Oh, no. This was a good recording. Oh, God. <gasps> we gotta go find some health. Somewhere. Like I said, this world is very deadly. Okay, now we should have some gold feathers, so we'll be okay if we need to go across, come across those ghosts. But we'll save that haunted maze for just a little bit later. I mean, that that rattled me a little bit. Hello. You're welcome. I'll kill you!
Come on. You're welcome. You're welcome. He can bulk him. Hey, hey. Okay. Stop! Oh my god, we were supposed to be farming health here. Did you see me just goof there? Of course you did. You're watching the video. I'm furious. You're welcome. Ugh. Oh. My. God. Wow. You're welcome. We should be at full health right now, but instead we're at five jiggies. Oh, hey. That's pretty cool. <gasps> what? A one up. So, you know how, like, in Mario, they have, like, the little secret rooms where it's, like, nothing but coins. Well, this is pretty much like that. There's no notes in here or anything. It's just a nice little hidden secret that's super cool. So, hope you guys enjoyed that. I know I, know I did. That was pretty neat. Pretty neat. Hey, 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 hey. I will destroy you any day of the week for a honeycomb. Now we're at full health. It didn't even matter. Now that means we can brave this maze. Okay, so... Ghosts quite literally cannot be killed. Yeah, I'll tell you, I've, I've, I die here all the time. And it's annoying, because I usually play the Nintendo 64 version up until rather recently, I'd say, because it's just the one I had. And, uh... I bought the rare re I, I bought the rare replay collection or whatever, and you know, of course it had. Shoot, we're doing a job avoiding them, but they're just so fast. That would be the freaking Jinjo Jiggy. If we didn't have, if we were at one last health when we grabbed that, I would have been the saddest man alive. Get past him. Jump back on Kazooie. Come on, come on. Oh, God. I mean, at a certain point, you do just have to, like, damage boost through them. Looks like they've lost interest a little bit. See if what we can do. Is that everything? Nice, we did it. All right, cool. Now, I don't want to go back through there, but I need to get back to where it is. So let's go this way. Yeah, that haunted maze is probably the most lethal area in this level. That was pretty crazy. Let's go this way. That's where the shed is. Very nice. Just trying to cover every. Whoa! That's why I'm doing what I'm doing. Just in case I miss something. Now, let's uh. Yeah, we can we can jump that high. Come on. I told people we could jump that high. Don't make me look like a freaking liar. Now, what I think you're supposed to do is jump on this tombstone or this headstone, whatever you want to call them. I call them tombstones. And let's get up on Kazooie Legs. The talent rot. Come on now. There we go. Yeah, look at all these notes. We're up to quite a bit. I know I'm looking like a real noob here. That wasn't too bad. It's just weird on that angle. There we go. Come on. Come on. Go ahead and peek in the Pokemon. See what's inside here. Oh, the top. Very nice.
That would be 83 notes. It's pretty good. I don't like when it gives us an odd number because that makes me feel like I missed something. Ladies and gentlemen, Mad Monster Mansion. How cool. One of my favorites. Absolutely one of my favorites. Very aesthetically pleasing, very cool, very dark and creepy. Very fun. Let's get out of here. I don't want to jump off because we're not looking great on health. But, I think we're looking okay. So it's not me saying I'm worried, it's more so, you know, I... I think, uh... I just think I need to be careful, that's all. Anything we're missing here? Anything tucked away in any corners? I mean, I know there's something behind here. There it is. Very nice. Let's head on in, see what's going on. Is this the mumbo part? Yeah, I guess. I guess. I didn't really want it to be the mumbo part, because... Nah. I mean, mumbo transformations are... Usually not, like, my favorite part of the game, but I've talked about that before. It's okay, though. I mean, I like the use in the game. We talked about this. I don't need to go back into it again. Weird that there was nothing there. I'm actually going to see if we can collect all 100 notes without getting that guy. I'm not sure we can, but... Because I'd like to leave the level as the transformation. So... I guess it's actually time for my favorite part of the world. Or the level, whatever you call them. I call the ones in Mario 64, I call those worlds. I call these... I don't know. I feel like... I feel like I like calling them levels. I think that's... I think it's okay. What do you guys think? Let's do this. And we're actually going to run there. It's gonna be awesome. Let's do that. Let's do this. Jump up that. Run through here. We're running out of time. We're in. Two seconds? I'll take it. Pretty good time to spare. Now. The Haunted Cathedral. Wow. Yeah. I just think it's super awesome. It's huge. Of course, I hate the ghosts. They're annoying. Worst part of this level, easily. But, I mean, you gotta have them. Okay, 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 okay. Listen to the music, like, uh, like always. Banjo-Tooie has some killer music, man. Oh my goodness. Banjo-Tooie. Ah, man, I can't wait to play that game. It's just... Whew, it's gonna be an undertaking. It's gonna be hard. It's not gonna be like Banjo-Kazooie where I can just go in blind and enjoy myself. This is gonna be like... He died? The big ones can die? Huh. I mean, I... I'm obviously gonna enjoy myself with Banjo-Kazooie. It's just gonna be... You know, it's kind of like how Freeze Easy Peak needed, like, the run shoes for Gobi's Valley to be 100% completed. Well, it's pretty much every level, and some places like, uh, I wanted to call it Gusty Gulch, but that's, that's from Paper Mario. Um, what is it? It's like, a, it's like an Old West level. It's got, like, three jiggies that you just cannot get for, like, a super long time, because you need the running shoes, and you need suction cup shoes, and you need this, that, and whatever, and I'm like, man. So it definitely adds a layer of difficulty in 100% of the worlds, but I don't know. I don't really know how we would format those episodes, but we're not even done with the first one, and we will have probably two playthroughs between it, so. At least, I'd say. Hello, Mr. Hand. Bolts and please his organ with ease, but can you follow him on the keys? Well, he's doing that now, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. TBH, just do this.
I don't know, I mean, I, I feel like I'm doing it correctly. I don't think you have to memorize it. Not bad, bear, but now watch me. Copy this a tune and amazed I'll be. I would love to amaze a hand. That would be awesome. Moat Sand is his name. Okay. I don't know why I'm being quiet. It's not like I need to focus on this. I'm just like, I'm like, come on. We gotta make sure that we, we secure the dub. Very nice. Watch this. Bam. He's amazed. Your music skills are mighty fine. So take this golden piece of mine. Sounds good. I'll take it all day. Sorry if my camera's been a little close this level. So let's jump up here. Let's jump up here. Go ahead and smack this man down. He means nothing. Ugh. Sorry. And that is a dang old jiggy. Grab this. Grab this. Grab this. Grab this. Oh ho ho! Another life that we can't use because we're doing such a good job. Ouch! So, we're doing a good job. However, we did take, take some little bit of damage there. Not too worried about it, though. Yeah, so what do you guys think of the cathedral? I mean, I know it was a super simple jiggy. There wasn't a ton to do in here, but, like, oh, it's just cool. The music is cool. The organ is cool. The fact that it's huge is cool. It's just cool. I like it. So... It's transformation time, I guess. Let me go see what exactly we are going to need to do with this transformation. So we need to go inside of the well. We need to go inside of this house up here on the top. I'm going to actually not go inside of the toilet. I think we're going to do that during the bonus episode. If I am, however, missing notes or anything, we will go inside of him. But I'm fairly certain... Fairly Well, hold on a second. I'm trying to th I'm trying to remember. Anyways, let's get this Mumbo transformation going, and then we'll talk. This is probably my favorite transformation. Ah, uh, Mumbo Brown of Pumpkin Bell, make good soup. It's a pumpkin. Yep, I love it. It's awesome. What's your favorite um, transformation? There's only one more. But, uh, yeah, just let me know. I mean, the, the next one might be your favorite. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, hold on a second. I need to make sure that we are doing the right thing real fast. We gotta get up on this wall somehow. Let me, uh... Can't jump that high. We need to get up on top of this wall. That's how you get inside of the, the house as the pumpkin. And I'm trying to remember how to get up there. I mean, it's, it's probably going to present itself rather quickly. Also, we can't attack, so we need to be very careful. <laughs> the bats are no joke at this point. Tell you what. Let me show it off real quick. What it's like going in because it says a pumpkin. Oh my gosh, you found all a hundred notes on this world. Well done. Wow. That's awesome. That is super good actually. I'm obviously missing the two honeycombs, but I'm working on it. And we need two more jiggies. How strange. Anyways, let's do this. Oh, one of them's probably the the well Oh The well we go inside as the pumpkin. Let's go this way. And this is an easy way to grab the notes too. I feel like they whoa. whoa. I feel like they want you to get to transform into the pumpkin early. I'm glad I can finally start saying the pumpkin. 
Because that's what he is. He's a pumpkin. And this is how you would uh, get that pretty easily. And we'll go out this way. Where does it lead? Oh. Pointless. Big fan. Yep, we have to figure out a way to get onto this wall. Leave me alone, you... Whatever you are. I was gonna... I was trying to come up with something... Unique or whatever there. Whatever. You know, whatever. You... What? What would we call that disgusting man? Um... I can't remember 100% how to get up there. I know it's like a, like a broken piece maybe, or something you jump on. Anyways, we'll have to figure that out real fast. It can't be that difficult, come on. And I'm sorry if this episode's a bit of a long one, I think I just checked totals and we we're at like 36 minutes or something crazy like that. So I apologize if maybe you weren't ready for a long one, it's just that's the nature of blind playthroughs. Or the nature of blind, yeah, playthrough of this level, you know. Sometimes I get a little tripped up. I'm sure nobody's too upset, though. If you are, just go ahead and skip a little bit. Um, obviously, I'll find my way. I'm just trying to remember how to get up there. Obviously, that's what I've been trying to do this entire time. I don't think you actually, I think it does actually require you go through the maze. I think that's where it is. I'm not just saying that because I'm out of options. I really do think it's like right over here. It's like a broken wall or a broken piece of the court. Oh, it's that little ramp. You saw it, I saw it, we all saw it. How do we get up there? Well, <laughs> I don't know. Or over there, I should say, because we have to get to the other side of this wall. Oh, through the pumpkin passage, perhaps. Very cool, very cool. We figured it out. I hope nobody skipped ahead too far. Wait for you to have uh, missed out on a little bit of content. Because we didn't end up uh, taking too long to find it. Now, let's go this way. Let's jump over here. Let's go over here. And fall down this. My boy. There it is. Cool. Now, let's go over and do that again. So, I can't remember exactly if we have to go through the maze to get into that little hole there, but it, either way, it took us pretty conveniently to where we needed to last time. So, no, we don't really need to go through the maze, but yeah, it was super fast. Anything in this, in this corner? No? Okay. Let's go jump in that turret. See if that's what I'm thinking it is or not. If it does have something to do with bonus episode, I will just, uh... I'll either cut it out, or I'll be like, or I'll come back here in the bonus episode and be like, Hey, how about that? You know, very cool. Happy landings, little one. There we go. Is it a Jiggy, or is it the bonus episode thing? Nope, it's a Jiggy. It's a Jiggy. We did it. We have 100%ed Mad Monster Mansion. And we did not goof in the slightest. Alright, everyone. So, actually, we didn't find the Grunty Switch, did we? I can't believe you went in there. Now wash your hands. Filthy bear. Okay, I'm trying. Here, let me actually clean off a little. Okay. So, let's uh, go ahead and exit this level as the pumpkin. We'll go ahead and bust some stuff out, and then we'll come back inside of here as Banjo to grab the switch, uh, the grunty switch, and the last two honeycombs. How's that sound? Oh, here we go. I was like, how do I get out? Wow, your best note score for this world is now a hundred. 
There we go. I was like, why are they not... I thought it was weird that they didn't ever stand up. Anywho. I really hope this isn't... Hold on. Okay, let's go in here. I hope this isn't where we're supposed to get the run till the switch jiggy. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me, but I'm just hoping that's not the case. Oh, it's Mumbo! So we can turn back into Banjo. Let me see what he says. Okay. Hmm, I don't know. I feel like he's gonna try to... I don't know if he'll return us back to pumpkin form. So I'll tell you what, we'll come back here in just a minute. We'll go do the other thing we need, and then we'll come back in there. Let's go this way real quick. And we'll go ahead and uh, knock out the other thing that requires us to... Oh, so that has nothing to do with the Gruntilda switch. Don't worry. Hmm. I think I have an idea of where the Grunty switch is now. Um, let's be very careful. This will kill us immediately. Hey, not bad. Not bad. Excuse me. Just gonna go this way. There we go. And that's Cheeto again. My friend. Cheeto Bird Bird, I've found once more another spell they get. If one more page I see you turn, then Grunty shall, Cheeto Burn. Nasty witches, so cold I shall turn. Enter red feathers on sandcastle floor in treasure trove cove. You just expect him to rhyme, and he doesn't. That's fine. I'm not too worried about it. Now, we need to go back out, and we need to figure out where exactly... Where exactly the honeycomb pieces are. Those are always the hardest ones, but I think we'll, I think we'll be able to find them. Oh, well. I think, I think we might actually have to end the recording here. I'm not sure. I might have just. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll come back and finish off this level next time. I'm sorry, I have to cut it short. But I will see you guys next time in episode eight of Band Kazooie, where we'll finish off Mad Monster Mansion and everything. So I will see you guys later.